All right, there we go. I'm going to share my screen. Make sure you guys can see that. All right, perfect. So um, welcome everybody to our certificate workshop on this beautiful Friday, almost the end of April. Boy, can you um, believe how fast this year is going by already? We're almost into May. Um, so um, my name is Marnie Hernandez. I'm here in Las Vegas, been with the company almost six years. Um, I started to do these workshops because um, for one thing, you know, there's a lot of perks when you do these workshops, okay? And um, one of the biggest ones is our Princess Cruise Line, okay? Um, if you complete the Princess Cruise Line training, you get a free cruise for two. And one example is one to the Greek Isles for 14 days, $205, okay? So we started um, doing them. Um, hold on one second. My daughter was just freaking out about her cat and he's right here by me. <laughs> so your cat's right here on my desk. Thank you. So anyway, um, uh, my, my um, accountability partner, okay, Nikki Lee, she kept telling me, when are you going to do the, you know, princess training so we can go on the next cruise together? And I kept telling her, oh, I'll get on, I'll do it, I'll do it. And I never would, okay, because again, you're, you know, your own business, you you know, always something else comes up, right? So I started saying, you know what, the way I'm going to be able to do this is I just need to get on the computer and, and do it, you know, set it up and, and do it. So I did that. And what happened is um, I thought, if I'm going to do this, why not do it with, you know, invite people? So that's what I did. And that's where we're at today, guys, is um, we were doing it four times a week. Now, um, for the summer, guys, we're going to just do it on Fridays and Saturdays, okay? But um, the main reason I'm telling you this is because I want you guys to understand how um, beneficial these are for you. So if for any reason you have to jump off, okay, please, please, please get in and finish it. The reason is, is because for one thing, you're going to get a lot of promotional material. You're going to get invited on familiarization trips. You're going to get free nights. You're going to earn free stuff. Okay. So you never know. Um, this is my YouTube channel. Um, and again, I, we're going to get started in just one moment. Just wanted to show you. We do record them and we put them in here. Norwegian, if you guys are um, registered with Norwegian, we actually, I'm going to go ahead, um, Christine, I'm going to put you as co-host. I don't know if they're doing some work here at the house, but for some reason, um, my internet keeps going wacko. And in case it, it pops off, I want you to make sure you're on there, okay? Um, Christine always covers okay. for me when, when I'm out of town, guys. So again, I appreciate her. Um, also, um, Sandy Gunderson um, puts these in order for me. So I'm going to show you. But Norwegian, guys, you also get a free cruise for two with Norwegian. We finished part one and part two. We're going to complete this one on Sunday. Um, so if you guys want to join us for that, that's the last Sunday that we're going to be doing until probably fall. All right. So this is my YouTube channel. Um, and as you see, we have all the videos. Um, so if you need like Disney, guys, Disney's a long one. Um, but you can watch it here. We have all the answers. And then also on our uh, certificate workshop, um, uh, on our incentive voucher group, um, Sandy Gunderson has created a spreadsheet for you guys that has all the trainings in order. So you don't have to thumb through, you know, as you can see here, Norwegian's here. It's also like down here, right there. Um, we also have the presentation here too. But so you don't have to pop around, okay? She actually has it here on my, um, on our incentive voucher group, okay? So let me go ahead and show you that. Just in case you have to jump off or you want to catch up on a few things. Um, okay, come on. Okay, let me do this really quick. Six, five, eight. I hate how they have these two, two factor authorization things. All right, so this is our incentive voucher group, okay? Um, we're gonna be going into Hungary, okay? This is the link, guys. So make sure you get in and register while we're doing this. Also, if you're new with us, what happens is I'll be reading it or we'll watch the video. 
and then after we all take the test together okay so just wanted to share that with you that's why it's important because you know like disney we had 45 people on the training we still miss four or five on it okay so some of them can be pretty um tricky so that's why it's kind of fun because we do it together okay all right, so the incentive voucher group is right here. Everybody's um, should be joined to it because it's a great way to promote your business, guys. Okay, so I'll share the link with you, but I'm also going to share with you where all these um, trainings are in order. Okay, if you haven't registered yet here, register, but make sure you answer the questions. If you don't answer the questions, we will deny you. Okay. So just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so right here is all, look at this, see? These are the vouchers and how to do it. Do farmer's markets, give away, um, you know, certificates and stuff, get um, leads, okay? It's a great way to get leads. All right, so here's all the certificates that we have done. Um, so we put them in this spreadsheet. Again, thank you, Sandy, for completing this for us. And she keeps it up to date for everyone. So as you see here, these are all the different training programs. So get in and register. And then destinations, we've done Alaska, Anaheim, Barbados, all these, okay? Um, yes, you use, um, what you wanna do is you wanna register using your information, but you also wanna make sure that you show that you're part of Archer Travel because you wanna make sure you know that you get the benefit and, of being with a um, host agency. All right, Kennedy Space Center, all these ones um, are in here for you guys, okay? So uh, we talked about Disney and Princess. Look at Princess, there's what, nine of them, but you get a free cruise, three day to a 30 day cruise. Disney, as you see, there's what, six, seven of them here. So again, all of them are right here for you save that link and it'll update as we put them in okay all right um any questions right now do, 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 do. all right um otherwise i have a question I'm okay sorry. go ahead no worries um is this training for before you take the test yeah, so what it is, is these certificate workshops, just so you see, so there's six or five on this one, five lessons, okay? So what happens is we go through, this has nothing to do with Archer Travel or your vendors or your certificates with that, okay? This is just something fun outside of all that, you know, you know, corporate stuff or whatever. This is just something fun that we do together that we learn about Hungary. Tomorrow we're doing New Zealand. So you learn about these vendors. And so the spice of Europe, Budapest. And after each one of these, you end up getting um, a test. We do a test together and then we get a certificate. And then you post your certificate and you say, look at me, I'm a specialist on Hungary. I can actually, you know, have you ever been to Budapest? Oh my gosh, look at this amazing stuff that you can do. So that's how we do it, okay? So, um, sorry, I had to get my glass of wine already. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I've been up since five, okay? <laughs> it's been a bad day already, so I got you. So, um, but anyway, that's exactly what we do. We get that certificate, you post it. And then, as I said, um, once you start getting these, um, yeah, that's what you no. get for, you know, working from home. No, just kidding. <laughs> Seriously, guys, it's like we're remodeling the house. I've been locked in my room for three weeks. It's um, I did get to go away to Disneyland. That was great. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of frustrating and, and uh, just a lot going on. So um, and we lost two cats. And, and uh, today was one of the anniversaries of when we found it. And two days later, he passed away. So that was terrible. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the fun part. All right, so um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to start this. If you haven't registered yet, um, go in and register. We have a lot of amazing agents on here that will help you, okay? But what's going to happen is I'm going to start reading, okay? As I start reading and going through the videos and stuff, um, you know, sometimes it may get a little too much and I'll say, anybody else want to read? Okay, but usually I, I can handle it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. 
Um, again, welcome everybody. And as I said, if for any reason you have to jump off, please get in and finish it though. Uh, the consortium is Travel Leaders Network, okay? Travel Leaders Network, okay. All right, so we're doing Hungary. Discover your favorite new destination. Also, I want to give you a heads up. A lot of times my pronunciation on some things isn't the best. Correct me, please, okay? I will not, you know, feel bad, okay? I, I, I appreciate it. Um, I don't see a way to put Archer in there. Okay, Alejandro, um, again, I haven't registered for a while. Let me go to homepage really quick just to see. Usually it'll ask you when you're registering, um, like what agency you're with. Um, did anybody get that? Again, my internet's going, is unstable. Do, do, do. If not, Alejandra, just go ahead and register with it with whatever requirements it, it has. Um, again, uh, Christy put in there the consortium is Travel Leaders Network. Okay, so um, so just uh, if you have a question on any of the registration, let us know. Okay. All right, so welcome to Hungary online training platform. According to the research, travelers visit this country looking to experience a wide variety of traditional Hungarian wine and gastronomy, natural environment and scenery, and for enjoying its spa culture. Um, okay, again, if it doesn't ask for Archer, then don't worry about it, okay? Just make sure you get registered. Again, just follow along. And again, I'm just reading, as long as you're registered before we take the test, we'll wait for you so you guys can all pass the test together. All right, you'll also learn a vast range of useful information, such as the best restaurants, spas, the training is straightforward and concise um, and compromised, um, comprised of five modules. Once you complete it, you will feel confident to become an expert and sell hungry. All right, um, again, if somebody can help Christy and Alejandro register, that would be great, only because I'm going to go ahead and keep reading and play the videos. Okay. Again, I don't know why my stuff's not working very good. Has anybody here been to Hungary? Ooh, did we get paid commissions today? I just got it loaded. All right, I am hungry, yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, yeah, my daughter was gonna make a pizza. I said, make me one. No, she's such a brat. Almost 21 years old and I'm already strangled. Oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying they're hungry. I said, I was too. And I asked you to make me a pizza and you said, no. All right, so about Hungary, the capital of Hungary is Budapest. Um, I'm confused. Are we supposed to register in the Hungry Online Travel Training website? All right, again, um, Sandy or Christine, can you help in the thing? Again, guys, remember, um, when we send these trainings out, because we, we have a new training starting for May, all the trainings are put on the flyers ahead of time. So you guys can get registered ahead of time. Right here also on the link I sent you, all the registrations right here. So make sure you go in and register for these ahead of time if possible. I know some of you are new, so I'm not, I'm not, um, saying anything about that. I just want to make sure that you get in. So right here, destinations OTT. Okay. So um, that is the training program within that training program and the travel agent Academy are all our trainings that we do. Okay. So it's very important to get registered and then you go into the training destinations. Okay. So let me pull this up really quick. So again, I apologize guys. We'll get back to the training in a minute. But make sure 
um because we're setting out a schedule for next month we're doing london we're doing maldives make sure you get in and register ahead of time okay so as you see here you're going to register very easy to register um and then you'll click on the link for hungary okay so here this is your information okay um confirm um employed in the travel industry consortium um so if it doesn't have travel leaders network let's see what it has travel network group let's put that one you can put that one name of organization that's where you put archer travel okay archer travel agency id that's where you put the iatan number all right, so when you guys said it doesn't ask for that it's right here okay so make sure you put that in here okay. And then you get registered okay so very easy once you get okay. registered, then you go here to Hungary, which is this link right here and that's where we at now okay. Yes, we are home based correct, thank you all right so let's go back. All right, um, so the capital is, is Budapest, which is the largest, most populated city. Budapest's um, colorful architecture and design features over the centuries have created the biggest and the best in many categories of the built environment. Some, like the chain bridge, the oldest of its kind in the city, um, or parliament, the third biggest national assembly building in the world are well known um, landmarks, but there is so much more that you'll definitely want to make a lasting memory. Hungary is a land of waters. Its ge geography is defined by its two main waterways. And it's kind of cool, guys, because we actually have some agents that just went here to Hungary, Budapest. One's on a cruise, and two others went on a three-week fam trip, familiarization trip. So again, that's kind of cool because like, if you plan on traveling, let us know so we can do these trainings and you learn about it and what not to miss when you go on these um, vacations or cruises, okay? All right, so um, the waterway, the Dunab, um, Dunabi, is it Danube, Dunabi? Again, correct me if I'm wrong. And the Tisa, imagine a sea where the horizon doesn't fade into the infinite distance, where the sunset paints a glowing golden bridge onto the water. Balaton, Central Europe's largest lake is exactly that our hungry brand focusing on areas around outside the capital while our budapest spice of europe brand is introducing budapest our capital city to the visitors about budapest welcome to Buda budapest city of, of the is it can you can somebody correct me how to pronounce that danube 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 thank you all right an unparalleled hive amazing taste and the people who will never forget a destination where a new authentic discovery waits for you in 365 days of the year once you taste the spice of europe you will always want to return for another bite the stunning sights of hungary's capital line the new, that again i'm sorry the newbie right the newbie grace city park and dot the buddha hills providing the visitor adventure a plenty the beauty of budapest is legendary yet many of these memorable attractions can also offer an experience like no other danube thank you amara um you can take a quick sightseeing trip or offer something simply unique the buddha hills are great to hike but you can also glide over them in your own plane a dip in thermal waters or a luxurious treatment in expert hands the choice is yours so here's websites you can visit visit hungary um the spice of europe uh facebook well springs of wonders and instagram wow hungary okay so here's another video we'll watch really quick
You should be able to go in, Danny, and um, update it. You should be able to like click edit. No, we haven't taken any tests yet. We're on the very first first part. The company name will be Archer Travel, or organization name will be Archer Travel, and then you'll put our ISM number. You're welcome. All right. So we just finished the first part. So let's go ahead and get started. Budapest, the spice, oopsie, now I gotta go back in. You know what I did? I, I only went in right through my Facebook. That's why it just popped right up. So, okay. Um, ba, ba, ba. So Budapest, the spice. Okay, so lesson overview. So we're gonna go over general information, attractions, city of spas, gastronomy, outdoor activities, and Budapest by night. All right, so let's go ahead and start the lesson. Again, follow along. Once we get to the test, we will make sure you are all registered and put the answers in here for you. All right, so the seasons. Um, <laughs> Hungary is suitable for travel all year round with four distinctive Sorry, seasons. Okay. Oops, mm -hmm. ah, hold on, let me move this. Here we go, okay. Move this up, there we go. All right, four distinct seasons. The climate is continental with colder winters and hot summers. Seasons, spring and autumn are mild. However, there can be frequent changes in temperature. Different seasons offer different activities for travelers. During warmer seasons, tourists can enjoy the mild weather at Lake Balaton, for example, which turns into a skating area in the winter. The language there, the official language, this is usually a test question, is Hungarian, the 13th most widely spoken first language in Europe with around 13 million native speakers. It's also one of the official languages of the European Union. There are many rural dialects spoken countrywide, though standard Hungarian is based on the variety spoken in Budapest. An interesting fact is that Hungarian is a member of the Uralic language family and distantly, distantly related to Finnish and Estonian. Um, okay, let me see. Hopefully this is the link. There you go. Job type. Yeah. Yes. Correct. All right. The history. So you have um, the Roman Empire started to conquer the territory on the western side of the the Danube, okay, in 35 BC. Afterwards, the region was part of the empire known as Pannoni, Pannonia. After the fall of the Romans, the Huns conquered the area and built their empire. Ger Germanic tribes and later Avars have been living in the Carpathian Basin. The freshly unified Hungarian tribes led by Arpad advanced into the Carpathian Basin from the east starting in 895. Again, you guys get a history lesson, okay? <laughs> and subsequently settled here. It was founded in AD 895 before many other European countries like Germany, England, or France. Budapest, a signature feature of the Hungarian capital. Budapest is the river Danube and that flows through it, separating Buda and Pest. 
Budapest. Ah. The Danube is an essential part of Budapest. Travelers take in the cool breeze of the water while sitting on the banks or while taking a boat ride to marvel at the shore's exquisite architecture. The Danube shoreline is part of the UNESCO, I always had a problem pronouncing that too, the UNESCO World Heritage. It is also a favorite for Budapesters to watch traditional fireworks on August 20th the celebration of the country's founding, okay? August 20th, remember that. Tipping, no general rule, but 10% of the final price is usually expected in restaurants, pubs, cafes, and taxis. There are restaurants where the service fee is already included in the price, so check the bill before tipping. Another way is rounding up. You can tip by saying how much you want to pay. Example, 6,000 instead of HUF 5,700. Be careful about saying thank you when paying. If you say it while handing over the money, this is informally inform taken to mean that you don't expect any change to be given back, okay? So good thing to know. Make sure you note that for your clients. All right, attractions, things to do, okay? This is, again... Um, may save these so when you post your certificate you can share you know the castle district etc all right so the um, prestigious castle district presides over the top of budapest has been a defining presence of the capital for ages and now serves as an important hub um, of culture and history Part of the UNESCO World Heritage, the area is host to iconic Budapest landmarks like Matthias um, Church, Matthias uh, Templum, and the fisherman's uh, Bastian um, Halasbastia. It is worth noting that despite the name, there is no castle here, although there is a magnificent um, royal palace, parts of which have been home to the Hungarian National Gallery since 1975. All right, then you have the Buda Castle. The castle is the traditional venue for the Budapest Wine Festival, along with a range of other events, giving you a chance to try sausages, locally brewed beer, as well as a selection of Hungary's, bless you, world famous spirit, Palinka, Concerts are also regular um, entries on the neighborhood's event calendar. Top artists come here to perform. Whether you're into Beethoven or jazz, you won't be disappointed. Hero Square, Andrasi Avenue, runs along a stretch of central Budapest from Hero Square and showcases its many beauties. Go shopping at the boutiques of the many international fashion brands that have set up shop here, not to mention the showrooms for numerous talented young Hungarian designers. If you go further, you will find yourself at Hero Square, Hisak Ter, which is a testament to Hungary's storied past and forms a great expanse that is constant favorite with visitors and local skateboarders. It is also a seat of culture embraced by two internationally renowned museums. All right, next is a uh, city of spas. Look how beautiful that is. There's no other capital city in the world with so many thermal springs bursting to the surface as Budapest. 80% of its territory has some kind of thermal water underground. The beneficial effects of the springs can be enjoyed at 14 different spas, whether for rehab rehabilitation or recreation. It's worth devoting some time to discover the city's thermal baths. No visit to Budapest can be complete without a visit to its spas, uh, which give the sense of stories from the pages of a history book coming to life. Bathing culture in Hungary goes back to the Roman times. All right, this one's a fun one. Shishnani bath <laughs> forms one of the largest bathing complexes in Europe, lies in the city park of the Pest side in a stunning location. The complex has 21 pools. Hold right. on just a second. I got to get. <laughs> Oh my gosh, sorry guys. All right, did you finish the baths? 
No, I was still trying to get connect back up. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry about that. I switched over just so you guys know I had Cox for how many years? And um, I switched over to um, Verizon. They have a new home-based, you know, internet. And obviously, it's not working well. So I may need to go back to my Cox internet. I'm, I'm hooked up direct, and, and I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I apologize, guys. So um, all right. So again, the thermal bass, 21 pools, three of which are open air. It is an especially great experience to bathe in those in the winter because instead of the inner domes, um, yeah, I found that out. Okay. Also, I need to make sure I'm sharing. So just in case it went off, guys, sorry. Okay. Um, instead of the inner domes decorated with spectacular mosaics, um, here are the here the sun or the stars shine down on you. Let us not forget that these waters have healing powers at the Sheshnei bath. <laughs> the thermal water is full of minerals and erupts to the surface from a depth of more than um, a thousand meters. This is the hottest thermal spring in Europe at a temperature of 77 degrees Celsius. All right, then you have a Galert um, bath. Um, nestled at the top of the Buddha Hills, situated in one of the loveliest stretches of the um, Danube, Danube, the hails of the nearly 100-year-old secessionist building might seem familiar from a number of successful movies. It's turquoise, um, Sosne tiles. Uh, yes, I am recording. It is still recording, I think. Let me make sure. Yes, it is still recording. The halls are nearly, um, okay, um, like the turquoise Cessnoi tiles, lead, lead glass windows and statues have served as inspiration for countless artists in the past. The other favorite features of um, a wall of commemorative plaques of all the miraculous of healing that took place here. Whew, sorry. All right. Next. Do, 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 do. All right, gastronomy, a diverse and vibrant gastronomy undis undiscovered by a rich culinary heritage can be sampled at the six Michelin star dining restaurants. Um, okay, David, thanks for sharing. Okay. Um, contemporary bistros, family run eateries and upscale brunch options again guys okay my internet just went unstable again just be forewarned in case it pops off all right um great market hall in budapest best known market hall offering a wide array of fresh produce and meat as well as local del delicacies the creativity of Hungarian chefs and the unforgettable flavors of Hungary's ever evolving cuisine should delight and captivate any guest, whether indulging in fine dining or immersed in a historic coffee house. The Hungarian cuisine is famous for its spicy and sweet um, and sour dishes, often seasoned with paprika. Authentic Hungarian dishes like fish soup spiced with paprika or stuffed cabbage with sour cream. Again, if you guys want to pronounce those yourself, that would be great. Um, and then are served in these places, but such distinctive specialties as the chimney cake are sold on the streets of Budapest too. Okay, and let's go over here, do, do, do. sorry, okay. Next. Do, 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 do. All right. Outdoor activities. Okay. So again, keep track of these guys so you can share with your certificates. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. If you're after a thrill and want to get moving, Budapest has plenty to offer, both in terms of the natural surroundings as well as many options for sports and activities in the city. Normafa is probably the most obvious choice if you don't want to go too far from downtown. Yet you still crave some fresh air. It is a favorite place among locals for excursions. Consider the Buddha Hills, which are waiting to be hiked with a route for nearly any fitness level, but all providing lovely views of nature. 
Also, you can discover uniquely rich cave systems located under the hills of Buddha, opening up an amazing underground world of minerals. Then you have City Park. May not be familiar at first, but when you know that this is the part of the town where you can find Shishinaya Bath, Hero Square, or the spectacular skating rink, you'll know what an important part the legit, as it's abbreviated, plays in Budapest circulation. Once the sun comes out, Budapesters uh, take to the park for a walk to play with their dogs, soak up, the, soak up the sunshine, or just hang out with family and friends over a cold drink and a pretzel for the kids. All right, so look how beautiful. I can't wait for all the greenery. All right. Da -da -da, Budapest by night. What do they do at night? They ha may have dazzled you during the day, but we think you will also be surprised to experience how nocturnal the city is. The Hungarian capital truly comes alive when the sun goes down. Take in the scenery of Budapest's impressive skyline in the night from a bus tour downtown or even better from a boat ride along the Danube that will let you muse at the country's most important historic events by viewing the castle or the citadel or just pop back into the vivid present day life and grab a drink at one of the many outdoor bistros or enjoy, enjoy a meal made by an internationally recognized chef at one of the many restaurants that have grasped the attention of the international gourmet connoisseur, connoisseur <laughs> community. The, again, I apologize for my pronunciations. All right. Um, the lit up bridges over the Danube are a magnificent spect spectacle, as well as the architecture along the riverside, which shows a very different face once the sun goes down and is showered in light. This is also the best time to enjoy the comfort and services of one of numerous bars and restaurants along the riverside to take a break in your stroll, make the view an even better experience. All right, test time. All right, so this is test time. Okay, this is how we do it, guys. So we have um, now five tests, five test questions. Okay, so first one, select one answer. When is it best to visit Hungary? In general, Hungary is suitable for travel all year round, has a severe climate, so you should visit only in the summer. Spring and autumn, very cold. It is not advised to visit during this those seasons. So what do you think? General, all year round, right? I agree. Yes. Okay, that is correct. Very good. Okay, again, is everybody here? We want to make sure everybody takes the test and passes, okay? I had to have one drink. Okay. Hungary, Hungarian is one of the official language of the European Union. Say true. What currencies are used in Hungary? The Euro forint, Hungarian forint is the official currency. However, most places Euro is also accepted. The third one. Thank you. Ding, 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 that is correct. Which river flows through Budapest? The Danube. First one. Very good. And last one, what site is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Isn't it the bath? Fisherman Bathin. Fisherman's, thank you. Ding, 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 congratulations, you all passed. Thank you for paying attention. Uh, we will now move on to number two. Did everybody pass? If not, we will make sure you do. Everybody good? Okay, let's move on. Yep. Yay, congratulations. All right, next. Lesson overview. Great, look at all these words, okay? Good luck. <laughs> Start the lesson, all right. So, Sentendre, okay? If you venture beyond the city borders, your first stop should be Sentendre. The town has a wealth of history and delights visitors with its narrow streets, street musicians, portrait artists, as well as the wide variety of craftsmanship and traditional cuisine. 
on offer. The city is famous for its marzipan production, and there is even a museum centered around the local history of the sweet. Drop by the Skansen of Sensendre. It's outdoor um, ethnographical museum to learn about the architecture, the farming, the interior decorations. Oh, how cool, Rosalind. See, so that's what's kind of cool, guys, is when we have people that have visited, they can share their experiences, et cetera. So um, the interior decorations and everyday life of eight Hungarian regions, all right? Next, you have Visegrad. Marvel at the splendid view from the Visegrad Castle, okay? Uh, formerly the home of um, the royal court. It is a bit of a climb, but you will be rewarded with the priceless view of the Danube Bend. Be sure to pick up some souvenirs. Enjoy a traditional meal. Uh, try your hand at archery. Always a hit with the kids. If you're after a bit of an adre adrenaline rush, give the bobsled track a go. If you do go, try to take a ferry ride across the river to get a whole different perspective of the wondrous view. All right, Estergrom. The blend of the river and the hills create picturesque landscape at the western gate of the Danube Bend. This is the location of the former capital, Estegram, an important site of, in the history of the Hungarian nation. Estegram is one of the largest cities in Hungary with a historical past. The first archbishop <laughs> in Hungary was founded here and the coronation ceremonies were also held here for many centuries. Again, guys, I apologize for my pronunciations. The monumental um, basil basilica, basilica towering above Danube is one of Europe's largest cathedrals and considered spectacular spectacular not only because of its size but also because the world's largest altarpiece painted on a single canvas can be found there. Since the ninth century the castle hill has played an important role in the history of Hungary and the lives of the Christians of its Christians. All right next we have Etiak rightfully famous for its deeply rooted traditions in winemaking that dates back all the way to the Romans. The city can be considered Budapest's vineyard. There are now hundreds of cellar cellars producing a vast variety of top quality red, white, and sparkling wines. The picturesquely rustic wine village is host to a traditional picnic featuring the top wines and gastronomic treasures typical of the town. All right, next. <sighs> Godolo, Godolo, a classic destination. Every Hungarian has been here at least once on a school field trip. The city is filled with historical buildings that will easily fill a whole day with sightseeing. Most obviously, it's fabulous royal palace built in a style that became known as Godolo Baroque but you might also want to visit the local nature uh, reserve. The castle of Donolo is one of the most remarkable castles Hungary simply because of its size. This is one of the biggest Baroque castles in the world. This was the summer residence of Queen Elizabeth or Sissi during Astro-Hungarian monarchy. Sissi enjoyed being here. Whew. Hungarians loved her and treated her very friendly. Only 10 kilometers from Godolo in the picturesque Dona, Dona, Domani Valley, you can round off the day at the Laser Equestrian uh, Park with its unadulterated Hungarian village atmosphere. Equestrian traditions and delicious Hungarian food. At the beginning, the first lodge was able to seat up to 200 guests. Now the three lodges and separate function room can seat up to 700 people. Whew. All right, next. Yeah, 
good. I'm glad this one's over. All right. So the Skassen of Sensodin is an outdoor museum to learn about local farming, architecture, interior design of eight Hung Hungarian regions. Please select one answer only. No, it's an indoor museum. Yes, it's an outdoor museum about eight Hungarian regions. No, it's an outdoor museum about Marzipan. Which one is it? Yes. Yes, outdoor with eight. Very good. Which statement is true about Visegrad? Um, is still the home of the royal court, formerly home of the royal court, was not the home of the war royal court. Is still the home? Nope. The middle. Oops, wait, did I miss one? Hold on, let me go back. Sorry. Go back. Go back. Take me back. Formally. There it is. It's formally. Thank you. All right. The Etiak, a good place for to visit for drinking wine, considered as the vineyard of Budapest, does not make wine. You cannot find any place for drinking wine. Vineyard of Budapest? Mm -hmm. That is correct. All right, travelers to Godolo can visit one of the biggest Baroque castles, true or false? True, false, there are only Renaissance castles in Godolo. False, there are Baroque castles there, but are only smaller ones. True. True, that is correct. Travelers to Estergam can visit um, on, on of, can visit on of the biggest cathedrals in Europe. I don't understand that word. False, there are only Renaissance castles there. True, the cathedral in Estergam is one of the biggest in Europe and false is famous for its open air museum. True. Is true, that is correct, congratulations. Now on to the third one, everybody get the answers, everybody moving on. Don't wanna leave anyone behind. All right, next. See how fun this is? <laughs> oh my gosh, I surely don't like these words. Christine, I should have given you this one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that word. All right. Valley too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So De Debrecen, thanks to its international airport, the multifaceted European city of Debrecen is easily accessible travel destination from all over the world. It's worth visiting the city park water tower where in addition to a rock climbing wall and a wine terrace, evening music concerts provide entertainment while sunbeds placed at nearby Beckus Pond are perfect for carefree sunbathing. The rich cultural prog program is worth mentioning. The great church, the largest reformed church in the country is one of the most characteristic buildings of Deprecon. Also, it is the site of many important Hungarian historical events. The Dairy Museum stands as the jewel of the city um, center and houses the city's public con collection. The Munkasee's famous Christ tri 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 Trilogy, Trilogy, sorry, Trilogy, there we go. Ah, I only had one, one drink of my wine, okay, guys? Uh, paintings took our breath away. In addition, the museum's collection includes collection includes special one-of-a-kind pieces from the fields of science, um, archaeology, and, the, and ethnograph, ethnography, I'm sorry, fine and applied art. The Modem Center for Modem and Contemporary Art is a world-class art center with more than 32,000 square feet of exhibition space and is the second largest largest exhibition venue in Hungary, offering permanent and temporary exhibitions for art lovers. Okay. Yeah, no, thank you, Andre. All right. And then, yeah, you know, that word is only 20 kilometers from or kilometers or whatever from Debrecen. The town has remained a small town. How resort. You solo school? Oh, very good. Look at you. Congratulations. <laughs> 
are you from there? Is that how you know? <laughs> All right. I googled um, it. Oh, very Wikipedia. good. Okay, thank you. So the town has uh, remained a small town resort despite being home to the largest spa complex in Europe. You can recuperate and unwind with your family in the facility's relaxing environment. Choose from a wide range of accommodation and take advantage of medical and wellness packages at the hotels in the area. The spa's medicinal mud is also wonderful for recreation and beauty. It relieves rheumatism and joint pain. Also one of the best types of Hungarian mud for pelvic problems and in, in um, infertility treatment. The medicinal water, which contains iodine, bromine, hydrogen, carbonate, bursts to the surface from a depth of 1,100 meters. Its unique composition means that the spa guests can choose from a range of over 40 different treatments. All right, next. Da, da, da. All right, taksha, takaj. If you want to capture the genuine atmosphere of the wine regions of Northern Hungary, then head out and discover the most beautiful and oldest vineyards and finish the day with a picnic that guarantees a picturesque view. The world's first closed wine region was established in Takajagzala and was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2002. The area of the wine district is the same as that of the region with 57 700 hectares um, under vine. The characteristic iconic varieties of the wine region are ferment, Haslavu, and Sagalababam. Uh, Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Nice and the surrounding area offer numerous programs and day trip destinations ideal for families with small children. You should not miss out on the zoo there, offering an all day long experience selected as Europe's best zoo in 2015 and 2018. The zoo is located in Sosto, the dense tourist neighborhood of Narzahaza, the capital of the Narza region. Experiences await you all year round in Narzahaza, medicinal bath, as well where you can relax in water rich uh, with an iodine and bromide and in various leisure pools and jacuzzis, or you can exercise your muscles in the swimming pool. Sosto Village Museum is one of the largest open air museums in Hungary. It presents the day-to-day -day existence of a 19th century Hungarian village. Wow, this is a tough one. Balaton, Lake Balaton is the largest freshwater lake of Central Europe. Locals call it the Hungarian Sea, a truly special lake where besides bathing, there are many other programs and activities to experience. Marvel at castles and palaces, recharge your body and soul at thermal baths, Try the excellent wines at welcoming wineries and visit one of the countless festive festivals held throughout the year. There are many options to choose from if you're looking for open air fun. Just make sure you have the strength for biking, the courage for the adventure parks, or a passion for sailing. The northern shore of Lake Balaton and the diverse hinterland dotted and witness mountains behind. It is one of the most beautiful, popular tourist region in Hungary. The Balaton Uplands, a prospective World Heritage Site, awaits visitors with fascinating geological attractions. Admire the beauty of the panorama from the lookout sites of the National Park, Discover the wilderness of basalt organs. Seek out the geyser fields of the Tahani Peninsula. Pick yourself a fragrant uh, bouquet of flowers in the lavender field. One of, um, one of Hungary's most beautiful monuments, a masterpiece of Baroque architecture, awaits visitors to Kassali with a palm house, a hunting exhibit, historical model trains, and a vast park that has been des designated as a nature <laughs> reserve. Row through the passageways of the Topolka Lake Cave, dissolved from limestone by the blending of cold and hot karst waters over 100,000 years. 
For culinary experience, head to Badascany, where a multitude of wine terraces with panoramic views over the lake offer the delights of familiar cellars. The Balaton beaches await sun worships worshipers with a sand covered stretch of the coast while athletic fields and water sports offer sports and children's programs. The aqua park in Balatatan provides an exciting alternative. Give golf a try during the holiday. You can test your skills of the region's family oriented courses. An 18 year, 18 hole course in Balatanavari a nine-hole course in Balatarar, and a course in Zalasakani. That is exceptional quality, even compared to European standards, and suitable for hosting international championship, um, offering a unique playing experience. Can you turn the fan on over here, please, Haley? Um, the Southern Shore, okay, so view Lake Balaton from the Globe Observatory in Balatagabargari after the family has exhausted themselves after a full day of adventure, wall climbing, archery, trampoline, jumping, and adventure at the rope and wire obstacle course. In Balatafuzio, you can ride a bobsled all year round while Zamarari's adventures and downhill courses await you throughout the year to throughout the year too. Would you like to try only fixed installation roller coaster in the country? Then head to Zala Sabar. Traveling the Balaton by sailboat is the experience of a lifetime. From spring to autumn, sailing classes and rentals are provided at several places around the lake, with or without a captain at well-equipped ports. And then you have a swimming opportunity almost every city around the lake. So you can select from the different beaches in addition to swimming. There are of course, countless active sport opportunities, all part of the shore, have stand up paddle boards, kayaks, water bikes, or surfboards for rent with a wide array of choice for water sport enthusiasts. Whew, next. Okay, Havis. Lake Havis is the world's largest biologically um, arc, um, active natural thermal lake. Relax and unwind at the country's oldest and the world's largest thermal water lake, where you can also bathe thanks to its rich mineral composition. The thermal water offers a remedy for locomotor, um, gynecological, and dermatological ecological conditions, gosh, as well as for accident rehabilitation. The town also offers high quality accommodations as well as health and lifestyle programs to boost your recreation choices. The water is pleasant all year round between 91 to 95 degrees in the summer, 75 degrees in the winter with a unique composition due to two different springs and the more mud covering the bottom of the lake. Those who are visiting the lake in summer can admire the beauty of the landscape along with the water lilies floating on the lake's surface. The springs pump more than 10,000 gallons of fresh water into the lake every day. As, as a result, the full body of water is replenished twice every week, making bathing here extremely hygienic. All right, there you go. Look how beautiful. Sorry, I need to turn the fan on. I don't know which way it goes. There we go. Sorry, guys. Okay. Next. All right. Tard at the Mato uh, Museum and the original Matoy uh, Peasant Homes in Tard. Um, you can also listen to the entertaining stories told by the locals about their own grandparents and learn about the lifestyle, culture, attire, and home cooked food of this unique ethnic group. In fact, this latter aspect is so authentic that visitors can participate in preparing the traditional dishes and can also learn embroidery. Here, you can experience what sustainable and slow tourism truly means. Do, do, do. All right. 
There we go, test time. We're almost done, guys. Which city has the country's second largest international airport? Deborah Khan, that one there or that one there? Which one is it? Deborah Which one? Deborah Khan, thank you. The one we can pronounce. That is correct. All right, what about the zoo selected as Europe's? Best Zoo 2015 and 2018. That was true. All right. Um, Takaja Hejalaya is a part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Is that the one? True? Yes. Thank you. And which lake is considered the Hungarian Sea? That one? The bottom one. This one, Balaton. Lake Balaton. Very good. Thank you. And the last one, the world's largest thermal water lake is in Haviz. True or false? True. True. Ding, ding, ding. Very good. Congratulations. We have two more left, and then you guys are going to get your certificates. So again, congratulations. Did everybody get those? And let's move on. Oh, I like this. Relax and wellness, food and wine, art and culture, and be active. Woo, I can read them. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> Whew, I can sure use that spa now. All right, relax and wellness, the curative powers of the thermal waters there, well known in Roman times, nowadays, Hungary, is a center for health, medical, and spa tourism. The country is extremely rich in thermal waters. It has nearly 1,500 hot springs, over 270 different types of minerals and medicinal waters. 80% of its territory has some kind of thermal water underground. For visitors experiencing a historic spa shouldn't be missed, not only do they offer a place for recreation, relaxation, rejuvenation, but most are located in magnificent buildings that are more than 100 years old. Next. All right, food and wine, yum. Who's hungry? No. <laughs> exactly, see, this is why we do this, so you can learn all about these places. All right, so. Uh, if there's one thing Hungary has that's even better than its wonderful and varied sites, it's the local cuisine. It is well worth tasting the delicacies of all the Hungar Hungar Hungary's regions. Budapest is bursting with amazing restaurants, each better than the other, and every region also has its own delicious specialties. There is increasingly demand in retail and hospitality for artisanal foods, from small scale producers instead of mass market products. Selected sausages and bacon from Hungarian smokeries, long matured cheeses or palinka. Hungarian dishes are best complemented by excellent local wines, including the outstanding sweet wine Asu from Tokaj wine region, which you'll easily find on the list of some of the world's most elegant restaurants and it will come as no surprise and if you find yourself acquiring a taste for these blends you can always venture to authentic wine bars where experts will assist you in tasting outstanding wines from the 22 hungarian wine regions enjoy a glass of wine or mix it with soda or as, as a spritzer one of the hungarian wine's extraordinary features is its diversity even in international terms, Hungarian wine is extremely rich in grape varieties, wine regions, and winemaking practices. The wealth is complemented by the winemaker's vision of their grapes and wines, thus enabling wines offering varied taste experiences to be crafted. All right, next. <laughs> All right, art and culture.
Sure. Okay. There are 103 castles in Hungary alone, most of which are still open to tourists and visitors. Our castles were built in different styles and at different times, but the view from all of them is unrivaled and is paired with the exciting history that lies within the walls. A museum is always a perfect place for adults or children alike. The experience will be unparalleled whether you are visiting a permanent or a special temporary exhibition. Spare some time to admire the buildings and surroundings of the museums and galleries as the architecture, ar architectural value of these buildings is also substantial. The National Gallery in Budapest, Buda Castle in Budapest is a very good example and is home to the largest public collection of fine art in Hungary. From churches to cathedrals, synagogues, and abbeys, Hungary is home to hundreds of beautiful religious locations and sites. St. Stephen's Bas Basilica is one of the most beautiful eclectical sites in the country and is the third tallest building in Hungary, uh, where you visitors can enjoy a wonderful 360 degree panorama um, view from its lookout tower. The Dahani. Utka Synagogue is the second largest synagogue in the world, while the cathedral on Castle Hill in Estragom is the largest church in Hungary. The National Theater, located on the bank of the Danube, is an exceptional site in a beautiful environment. Standing right next to it is Mupa, where classical and popular music, jazz, world music, dance, new circus, and fine arts take center stage. The Renaissance revival style building of the Hungarian State Opera often hosts concerts by national and international stars of the opera world. Hungary has a very rich repository of folk traditions whose heritage is well worth exploring. Just to name a few, the Busi Vest festivities, falconry, um, the Matteo embroidery, uh, or even folk dancing and folk music. But when it comes to distilling polinka and winemaking, it's safe to say they are all form part um, of the country's authentic image. Beautiful picture, huh? All right, be active guys. Due to its diverse and geographical location in terms of excursions, Hungary hides numerous picturesque places. The purpose of one's trip can be hiking in the mountains and forests, walking through lookouts or visiting castles. Hungary abounds in all these sites. As a place for a family trip, you can also find a place rich in many experiences. If you're a seasoned hiker, you should be aware that the National Blue Trail with the first long distance walking trail in both Hungary and Europe, and takes you through the romantic wilderness of the Matra and Buk Mountains. One of the places it visits is Kekasteto, the highest point in the country where you will find exciting things to do all year round with tours of different difficulty levels. In winter, you can even ski here. A stone's throw away from Hortagabagi and the De Deprecon, Lake Tissa is, and its surroundings, also called wild water land, will fascinate you with both exhilarating water tours and unique bird colonies. If you're brave enough to discover, um, discover Hungary's second largest lake on your own without a guide as part of a GPS guided boat tour or even cycle around on two wheels thanks to the local cycling center. Discover Lake Balaton by bike, oops, um, cycle around Lake Balaton on your own bike or rent one. Almost the entire 210 kilometer long circuit is on cycle roads or cycle friendly paths. The main charm of the bike ride along Lake Balaton is a delightful panorama of green meadows and turquoise lakes. You can also cross the lake by sailing boat. Every part of the day reveals a different face of the lake's um, velvety waters and each bags to be explored. 
Sailing across Lake Balaton is an experience of a lifetime from spring to autumn. There are sailing classes and rentals available with or without a captain from well-equipped uh, marinas. Okay, so there, beautiful, beautiful scenery, um, sunset, etc. All right, next is it test time? Test time? Let's see. I got my dog and yep. Okay, does the spa culture in Budapest originate from the Roman times? I'd say yes. Oop, come here. That is true. Okay, how many wine regions are there in Hungary? How many wine regions are there? Is it 22? I was thinking 22. Okay, let's try it. That's what I thought. Yep. How many per how many percent of Hungary's territory has thermal water underground? That is correct, 80. How long is approximately the bike path around Lake Balaton? Is it 210? That is correct. And last one is. The site's lookout tower can enjoy a wonderful 360 degree pan panorama of the, the synagogue, <laughs> which one is it? Is it the synagogue? First one. This one. Thank you. All right. Congratulations. Last one, guys. And then we can call it a day and get our certificates out there. All right. Fine dining, luxury hotels, Hungarian fashion and design, hunting Hungarian products, okay? So let's do this. And again, congratulations, everybody. Thanks for staying on with me. Fine dining, Budapest fine dining. So, and real quick, is anybody learning anything, okay? Are you guys learning something new? Kind of interesting, right? I didn't know a lot of this. All right, thank you. Perfect, yes. So Budapest fine dining saw a major breakthrough through towards the international scene when Kostas became the first local establishment to receive a Michelin star, okay? Um, in 2018, Budapest hosted the European tour of the Michelin Guide for 2018 to underline that the city's gastronomy and cooking talents have achieved a worldwide recognition over the past years. Uh, the city now has two starred uh, restaurant, which is the Onyx, while, uh, while Burgonkia, Costas, Costas Downtown, Babel, and Stand are also in the elite club of the one starred restaurants. Okay. Next. Doo, doo, doo. All right, luxury hotels. If you're visiting Budapest, you will have the once in a lifetime opportunity to stay at hotels housed in imposing buildings that boast a, at least 100 years of history. Uh, located on the scenic banks of the Danube in a majestic Art Nouveau, 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 Nouveau property, the Four Seasons Hotel Gresham Palace is one of the finest examples. The luxurious establishment was rated number one on travel and leisure's top 15 city hotels in Europe list. The criteria measured were facilities, location, service, food, and overall value. Ranking sixth on the same list was the Aria Hotel Budapest, another exquisite hotel to stay at. All right, and fashion and design. The Hungarian Fashion and Design Agency was established as a part, um, as a part, oops, subsidiary of the Hungarian Tourism Agency in 2018 with the aim of providing structured and efficient professional assistance to all players in the industry. Uh, there is a vast economic and tourist um, touristic uh, potential in the fashion and design industries. The aim is to boost the recognition of clothing and textile industries and the different branches of light industry connected to fashion and design so that their reputation can match their traditions and Hungary can become the center of the region. 
Throughout its work, the Hungarian Fashion and Design Agency collaborates with Hungarian and international professionalism um, organizations, educational institutions, members of the public and private sectors in order to mutually establish the most important pillars of their strategy. <gasps> Whew. All right. Hunting, Hungarian hunting experience is a world renowned for its premium quality service on behalf of thousands of hunters each year. Wildlife managers and outfitters have helped to preserve an elite environment for optimal growth and maintenance of world-class specimens that have yielded legendary game stock proportions in quality and scope. The world-class uh, game trophies gleaned from exquisite Hungarian hunting grounds throughout the country is no accident. As a result of careful and responsible conservational monitoring, every hunter is privy to a hunting environment at its finest. All right, beautiful, beautiful forest areas and their products, okay? Heron Porcelain Manufactory. The porcelain manufactory in Heron, which has since become the largest in the world, was established in 1826. Heron Porcelain is renowned far and wide, made by hand to this day. The ideal gift, thanks to its perfect quality and artistic design. Zalsane in Pex, you can discover the other famous porcelain manufacturer, Zalsane. It can take an entire day to fully explore the Zalsane cultural quarter. Take a short walk from the center of town to visit the district that was declared an Hungaricum in 2014. The district park is public and open to everyone and offers all kinds of things to see and enjoy. You can walk around and visit 88 Zulsne public street sculptures, as well as 15 listed heritage buildings. And if you want to learn about the history of the Zulsne family, the porcelain um, and the factory, go on and explore the exhibitions. The pink exhibition is where you can see the earliest Solsne products on display while the golden age of Solsne, consisting of some 700 ceramic items, is estimated to be worth 2 billion HUF and offers a truly amazing experience. Um, Omoresica utilizes the beneficial properties of the medicinal waters in the form of cosmet um, cosmetic product family. They have jointly developed and patented the healing concentrate technology, which uniquely delivers healing minerals to the deepest layers of the skin. Uh, All right, I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done. We're done. Okay. How many Michelin starred restaurants are there in Budapest? Da, da, da. Yeah, see, spa destinations, exactly. All right, six. There are six Michelin star restaurants or, or Michelin star. Okay, which restaurant has two Michelin stars? Was it the Stan, the Caustics, or the Onyx? Onyx. The Onyx. Very good. Aria Hotel was on the list of the top 15 city hotels in Europe. Say true. Ding, 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 that's correct. Heron Porcelain Manufacturing was established in 1826. Is that true or false? True. True. Let's do it. One more, one more, and then you get your certificate, guys. Which product was declared as the hunger in 2014? This one? This one. This one. Salsane porcelain. It was that one. Yay. All right. Congratulations, everybody. Right here. Certificate. Click your certificate. Right here. Bam, bam, bam. You are now a certified agent with Hungary. Go in, post this, post all the exciting information you learned about the thermal spas all the, the castle information, the wine, the food, and you know, let people know now you are a specialist. 
Tomorrow we are doing New Zealand, if you wanna join us for that. Again, congratulations, everybody. Also, um, here is the calendar now for next month. We will get that posted soon. We are doing the Mexican Caribbean, the Orlando, Maldives, Australia specialist update, London, Kissimmee, Clea, the cruise industry, California Star, we're going to do some California training, and we're going to finish Norwegian Cruise Line and get our certificate tomorrow or Sunday. Tomorrow it is at 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. tomorrow we are doing New Zealand. Please join us. Get your teams on here. And again, congratulations, everybody, on 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? I know it's early for me, but um, that way we have the day to ourselves to do what we need to do, right? Um, also, if you're going to finish Norwegian with us, guys, um, that will be Sunday. Again, I showed you where the first two parts are for Norwegian. Get in here and finish them so you can join us tomorrow and get your certificate. Okay, right here. One and two are already complete. Uh, do you have ever what courses? time on Sunday? Sunday, 9 a.m., same thing. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Do they ever have courses? New England. I think we've done New England, haven't we? Um, if not, we can add that to our list. Christine. Christine's my list, list keeper. And if not, we will add it to that. For, so New England. Do we have New England yet? If not, can you add that to our group list? Thank you very much. All right. Anybody else have any questions? Are you guys excited? Um, did you learn a lot? Again, I appreciate you guys coming on board. Sorry for the technical difficulties. I'm going to give Verizon a call now. But again, um, congratulations, everybody. Get in here, um, print out your certificates, let people know that, yes, you are a specialist now. And um, how do I get to the group schedule? Okay. Um, so if you're part of evolution, if you're part of rising tide, if you're part of um, beach bosses, okay, we post them in the Facebook groups under media, you can see the list of the trainings, uh, also on the daily list, okay, um, so if you go here to like evolution enterprises, um, I don't think I posted the actual daily one there. But I do post um, the actual um, monthly one. All right. Thank you, Glenda. So right here, as you see here on Tuesdays, that was the certificate workshop. Sundays right here. Saturdays right here. Um, so again, we will be posting. So again, get in here ahead of time, guys. And then you can like click on here and get registered. So when we get started, you can do it. Okay. Um, some you need to register ahead of time. Okay. So um, again, guys, congratulations, everybody. Stay plugged in. Let's have fun. Uh, start thinking what you want to do for June. Okay. Because we already have, um, like I said, we're not doing Tuesdays um, or Sundays after this Sunday. Okay. We're only going to be doing them on Fridays and Saturdays um, through the summer. Okay. But again, you guys can get in here and do these all the time on your own. Um, these are the ones we've completed already. All the answers are right here. So you could kind of cheat, okay? Um, but you can get in each of these, um, these trainings and do them yourself. You know, go here to home. And they have a lot of different um, trainings available, okay? So um, let me go to the main screen, log in. Uh, so you guys can do these on your own, but again, it's kind of fun when we do them together. For one thing, you know, you have somebody helping you out with the tests and stuff, um, and you get to learn about different things. So as you see here, you know, um, you can win a fam trip to Kenya. Let's do that. Journeys through Saudi. You can win a fully paid trip to Saudi. Participate now. Register now. So again, they give away a lot of stuff. Um, so get in here and check it out, guys, okay? Um, and again, we'll add it to our list. So this one, April 12th, so that one's kind of over, it looks like. But um, 
we're always learning, okay? Um, the spreadsheet, where does that spreadsheet live? Okay, it's right here. It's actually in our certificate workshop, our incentive voucher works, our incentive voucher group, okay? But it's right there, if you can click on there. And then it's also here, um, each of my trainings are here on my YouTube channel, right there. And again, if you guys wanna share the, the opportunity, I have my, um, my actual, um, can you let him in, please? Um, the presentation I recorded, if you want to share with, you know, friends or family and bring them into the business. Jamaica, who doesn't love Jamaica, guys? I got a free fam trip through Jamaica. So definitely, let me get out of here. Okay. All right. So that's all I've got for today, guys. Again, congratulations. Hope to see you tomorrow for New Zealand. Um, and I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and happy May Day if I don't see you or talk to you until then. Um, but thank you guys all. I appreciate you guys. Um, again, share with, um, get on the, um, get on your social media, post your certificates on social media, let people know. They're going to say, what? You know about Hungry? What? They have that there? I want to go. Can you get me a quote? You know, so very easy ways to market yourself, okay? So um, also you guys can um, borrow anything I have on my Facebook page, okay? Um, the top supplier, shout us out. Look, I love to be with this guy. Look at him. Look at these dolphins jumping all around him. Come on, come on, come on. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> wow where is that at wouldn't you love that i don't know i don't know i just uh, wow. I, I saw that on um on yeah. uh, my daughter's instagram i think and i was like oh my god i want to do that all right oh you can't gosh. always wait wow. for the perfect time but sometimes you have to dare to do it because life is too short to wonder what could have been exactly. again <laughs> guys get out there live your life Take those chances, borrow this, okay? Share the opportunity. Happy birthday. Me meeting new people. As I said, I stay in the background a lot. So <laughs> Norwegian Cruises, that's what we're finishing up on Sunday, Karen. So if you want to join us, the two that we've already done, they're, they're a little long, but you get a free cruise um, right here, Norwegian under cruises. Right here, we've done the first part, second part, we're going to complete it this Sunday. All right. So again, hey, uh -huh. where can we find that list at? I think you said in the incentive it's right vote. here. It's it's right here. If you want to click on it, it's right here. Oops, no, that's my YouTube. It's right here under incentive voucher group. Okay. So in case you get lost again, incentive voucher group. And then again, you should be a part of this group because this is ways to help you to market your business. Okay. Um, if you join this group, make sure you answer the questions. And then you go up here to Featured. And Sandy Gunderson keeps these up to date for us. So again, thank you, Sandy. Um, but as you see here, we have Vegas certificates, round trip airfare, seven night resort stays um, that you can use to market your business. All right, and then right here is the list. Right here, it says I'm sharing the cheat sheet for the trainings, and then here it is. These are all the different training programs, the destinations that we've done. Um, the yellow, these orange ones are kind of ones we have to kind of, I think, fix or finish or something. This is yellows are we're doing them. Um, so this we just did, so I'll be posting that. New Zealand is tomorrow. Um, hotels and resorts. This one we had a trouble getting into, so we couldn't do that or this one, but we've done the Marriott. Marriott, you get amazing deals on that. And then here's cruises. You want to finish Cunard. You want to finish Cunard, the final test. Oh, Sandy, you need to take that too. I know um, we finished yeah, that. When, when we were taking it, none of us could finish it. So right. okay. I don't know what we're do there <laughs> i wrote the answers down so maybe we'll try doing that um sunday after norwegian depending on what time we get done and maybe we can pass both those okay okay that works 
Perfect. Okay, so as you see here, we've completed Princess, we've completed Carnival, we've completed Royal Caribbean. So get in here. How about Disney? You guys want those free Disney passes? I got it. All right. I got all of us just went to Disney, got free passes. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Also, Universal Studios Orlando. Three day, three park hopper. All right, Winter, go ahead and ask about the voucher. I wanted to sign up for the uh, the yearly fee. Uh -huh. Do I do I have to wait until the form is approved before I cash app, or I just fill it out and then cash app you? Just fill it out, cash app, and what's going to happen then is um, Sandy's going to get it and she'll approve you. And then um, because what happens is if you order the voucher. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't show that you paid the annual fee, then we um, we just she pens it okay puts okay. it in a pending mode until that $12 is paid. Okay. Um, there, I, I did I did just make a video walking you guys through how that works. Okay. It's on the um, incentive vouchers page how the filling out the forms and how we go through about go about it. All right, I'll take a look. All right, thank you. Yeah. It's in the feature. It's in the featured tab and guide one. Okay, I just went straight to the form, but I'll I'll take a look right now. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. So here here I am. I'm I'm a my daughter calls me a a, a big toddler. Watch. Hold on. My my cute outfit that I bought. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a big toddler. <laughs> All right, guys. So have a great day. Thank you guys for joining us. Looking forward to having you on our trainings. Um you're welcome anytime and yeah we had an amazing time except i got a big blister on my on my right foot um but anyway we had an amazing time got to spend it with my daughters my son is a detective here in vegas so he couldn't go with us but uh, me and my daughters had an amazing time so also guys make sure you celebrate your first booking your first agent you know you're ranking up let's celebrate together guys okay um congratulations stay plugged in and um, we're excited to see you guys uh, again right here. 10,000 agents, guys. So New Zealand tomorrow, 9 a.m. Be there, have your coffee, your, your wine, your, your tea. <laughs> and let's get another certificate, okay? All right, bye guys. Have a great day. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. Da, da, da.